Hi, it's Peter here. <clears throat> PeterBrown.net, copywriter. Been getting some uh, questions recently about how to use stories when selling. How to use stories when selling. So here's three different ideas that could help, right? If you're trying to use a story when you're selling, first story you could use, which works really well, that's my dog panting in the background, by the way, is a story about yourself. So if your product or service can tie to yourself, how you overcame whatever issue you have, whatever your hero's journey is, uh, frustrations, fears, frustrations, problems you had, and how this particular product overcame it, how this service overcame it. So you embody the product, that's a real powerful way to sell. Second way to use stories is tell a story about someone else. So this could be a real person or it could be a parable. So you're t t t telling stories about other people who've overcome the problem uh, or one person that you're dealing with at the moment. So Mrs. X or Mr. Y had this problem. These are the fears, frustrations, problems he had. These are how he overcame them. And whatever problems they're facing have to mirror whatever your market is suffering through at the moment, whatever their key problem is at the moment. Third way, which works really well, you'll see it in some ClickBank letters, ClickBank uh, video sales letters, is um, a story about history, something happened in the past or something that's happened at the moment. So, stories about the past work really well. Um, where say the people in Okinawa for the last thousand years have the longest lifespans why is this and you tie that into your product maybe they're eating things that have ingredients that are similar to what your product does or a key ingredient that's the unique mechanism of your product so um, there's an island somewhere where there people live longer or something like that so that could be or it could, it could be in a particular industry how these people in this place make lots of money is there something special about them? No, they just do this. So it ties into, if it's well known, if it's like Okinawa or something like that, you can tie it into lots of proof, lots of studies that have been done. So now your story has a ton more proof than the other one. So it's one of my favorite ones to use. So those are three different ways to use stories. And we're wired for stories, right? Um, so, you know, if you can use a story in any regard, you should, because we're wired for stories. Before we could read, before we could right we were telling stories in caves uh, children love stories we always everyone loves a story you should always use stories and sales copy if you can those are three ways to do it um, I have a report on my site about subject lines and emails if you're interested on how to uh, get more opens get more sales there are different subject lines that I've used 27 of them that have got more opens than any of the other ones over the past five years or so you're welcome to that it's free peterbrennan.net link should be somewhere around the video that's it for today. Okay, good luck.